Alright, what's going on guys? Just a quick thing before the video gets started. I'm giving away this emblem on screen right here. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is drop a like on the video. If we can get this video to 5,000 likes, that would be sweet. Also, leave a comment down below, anything at all, preferably something about the video. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, what's going on guys? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Destiny video. In this video guys, we're going to be taking a look at some of the raid primaries which are coming back with the Age of Triumph. I have a bunch of screenshots um, which I was sent yesterday by Activision to show you guys. But yeah, they all look freaking awesome. They all have a new unique look and they're all the old raid weapons we know and love with the primary burn. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, as you can see, we have the Abyss Defiant. This is the Adept version. It's kind of got like a new purplish look other than the old one, which was kind of like greenish. It's pretty awesome. This is probably going to have the solar burn, if I remember correctly. Um, there's also a bunch of pictures that Bungie actually posted today on their Instagram, and it actually showed, the, obviously, the little exotic icon to show that they are exotic. Um, these weapons will be exotic, and you won't be able to equip it alongside another one, unfortunately. That's how exotics work. But so that's obviously only because they have the burn on it. But yeah, moving on, we have the Anguish of Dryston Adept. Um, I'm not really sure if this ever had a burn, but it's coming back. Um, whether it will be added with the burn, I'm not sure. I think it was Ark, the one they posted on um, their Instagram. But look at that, it's pink and purple. Pretty cool. Moving on, we're into the Vault of Glass. We've got the Atheon's Epilogue, the Rapid Fire Auto Rifle, which we used to use all the time in year one. This is actually Void Burn, and it has Void Damage. Um, they've kind of given it like a white and yellow look, which is pretty cool. Can't wait to use that in some uh, Void Nightfalls. Moving on, we have the Chaos Dogma Adept Scout. Um, once again, this didn't have a burn, I'm pretty sure, when the raid came out, because they obviously weren't doing it at the time. But I'm guessing this is going to have, like, maybe Solar, even Arc. Not really seeing another Void. Maybe it's even Void. I have no idea. But it looks awesome in the new red scheme. Uh, moving on, we have the Fang of Urya. This is one of my favorite weapons in Crota's End to use. It was a Arc Scout Rifle, and it just melted. It was so freaking good, especially the sights. This was, like, probably one of my favorite weapons to use in the raid. And, uh, yeah, moving on, we've got our old buddy, the Fatebringer Hand Cannon, the Arc Burn. Um, probably going to be using this a lot. Um, love hand cannons. They're very powerful. They pack a punch, especially with the Arc Burn damage modifier. Really, really freaking good. So, next we have the Fever and Remedy Adept Hand Cannon. This is from the Wrath of the Machine raid. It's a kind of reskinned hacky hand cannon. It's not really unique to the raid, unfortunately. But, yeah, probably it's going to be pretty cool. Um, maybe Void, maybe Arc, I'm guessing. Uh, next we have the Genesis Chain, the Adept Auto Rifle. I did a video on this a while back when the Rise of Iron dropped. It's an awesome Alt Rifle. Unsure what the Elemental will be on it, but it looks pretty sweet with the red and white. And moving on next, we have the Oversoul Edict Pulse Rifle. This is probably one of my top used weapons in the raid as well. It is a Arc pulse rifle and it's really good it's actually really awesome in pvp as well kind of wait to see this being used in like trials and stuff like that again because as you know they're all going to be brought up to 400 light which is going to be sweet moving on we've got the smite of moraine adept pulse rifle um all of these are going to be exotic once again if you don't remember but yeah um pretty sure this didn't have a burn on it they're probably going to add a burn to it i'm guessing this is going to be solar maybe um, it's a really good pulse rifle. It's from the King's Fall Raid. Really, really good pulse rifle. Cannot wait to use it again. Next, we've got the Steel Medulla Adept Pulse Rifle. This is from the Wrath of the Machine Raid. Really, really freaking good. Not sure what the burn is going to be. Um, like I said, leave your comments down below what you think the burns are going to be on some of these weapons. Because some of these weapons we've not actually seen with burns. So Bungie just kind of like filling in the gaps on what they should be. Uh, Vision of Confluence, definitely one of my top 10 weapons in the game. I love this freaking weapon and I cannot wait to see it return. It's going to be insane. It's a solar scout rifle. Really freaking awesome. Uh, Word of Crota, the Void Hand Cannon from Crota's End. Used to use this a lot as well. Really, really freaking good. Um, I probably use the Fang more, but it's still pretty good. Like It's a great Void primary to use back in the day in the Nightfalls. Really awesome. And then finishing up with the Zowley's Bane Hand Cannon from the King's Fall Raid. 
Uh, great hand cannon. I probably got it on my first run, I'm pretty sure. Didn't really use it much after that, just to show it off, really, in a video and like that. But yeah, that's been the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will leave a link to all of these pictures in HD uh, in the video description, so make sure to go check it out. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Um, if we can get this video to 4,000 likes, that would be sweet. Don't forget to subscribe for Destiny content. And uh, if you have a Discord, there's a Discord link in the video description where we just hang out. Have a good time, post some pictures about Destiny and just talk about it. Um, we've got a little awesome community growing. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. This has been Wallows Gaming, and peace.